From the Aleuts at Kizar to the glory days at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers Cutback Podcast time. It's true. We got a big topic today. The Alex Mack difference. Alex Mack plays center, so I automatically like him. That's that's the only requirement, huh? That's it? Well, he has to play it well. Okay. Does he play it well? Why don't you watch the video and find out? You know what? That's a really good idea, Horace. And while you're down there, while you're watching this thing, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Share it with the other 49ers friends, as well as the rest of the NFC West and your fans of the NFC West that you know, because they should start to get a little uh, little concerned, because this guy here is special. He really is. I'll just let kids watching this remind them, offensive linemen are the best looking and the smartest guys on the team. I don't know if we can back that up. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I we mean, can. He's going to make a difference. I don't know if it's in the looks department, no. but it's definitely in the look on the field department, because that. he's going to be able to put people in the right positions. And he has a great technique when he's, you know, when he's playing. I agree. And these film clips are going to show that, which is going to be very fun to watch and dissect and just see where the 49ers are headed because Alex Mack played in the Kyle Shanahan system. And so we get to see clips of him actually playing in the system before he lines up and takes a single snap as a 49er. Also, uh, fun bit, every single one of these clips is from the Super Bowl in 2016. And every single one of them is him playing on a broken leg. With a broken freaking With leg. With a broken freaking leg. He put the offensive line on his back, horse. Can you believe it? That's impressive as all heck. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's check these clips out. And what do we got here for this first one? Yeah, so this first one, you're actually going to see uh, him pick up the linebacker. Um, the pre-snap, he actually picks up that the linebacker is going to be blitzing. Yes, the tackles do struggle and give up the sack. Um, but interior-wise, you see the the guards and, and Alex Mack himself do a great job of recognizing what the defensive lineman in front is doing and how he's trying to occupy, and then the linebackers coming on the blitz, and they flow completely right. Look at the setup. They're all together. They're all in unison. That's what you're looking for in the interior, and that's been the problem with the 49ers. We don't have to worry about you know the left tackle because Trent Williams is going to take care of business, but what they don't realize is pre-snap, um, Alex Mack actually looks around the, the nose tackle that's lined up on him, uh, sees the linebacker, you know, makes the call to the guards that, hey, this is going to happen, and then they're all prepared. That is what Alex Mack, that's what he can bring. That's the difference is the line calls and the adjustments to the line blocking. Yeah, he's he makes a huge difference out there. For any of you that watched the Seattle 49ers game where their blitzes up the middle kept working, and that's the game Jimmy really got injured in, um, he's a huge difference in that game right there. He's going to see the blitz coming. He's going to be studied up on the opponent, and he's going to know Kyle's offense like the back of his hand. So he's a huge difference in a couple of those situations, and that's one of them because anytime Seattle ran this blitz right here, almost the same one with Wagner, he went flying through untouched. And it probably happened, what, seven or eight times in that game? Yeah. Too it many. really hurt him. Like, it really hurt the team. No, and, and you can't have that, and Alex Mack is going to be able to show that up. You're seeing it here. Um, here's an, here's another one of run blocking, the zone blocking, the, the way he's able to get around in space, get skinny, yeah. gets to the outside shoulder and just controls the, the lineman here in space, not letting him get around him, setting that edge and creating that gap right here for Tevin Coleman to run through. And Ant, you pointed this out in our pre-show meeting. He's actually looking for this linebacker he to is. come flow downhill for him to pick him up. He's recognizing and seeing right here, this guy is all preoccupied with Devontae Freeman here in space. So he's not going to be going anywhere near where the football is going. So he's like, all right, cool. We're just going to make sure you don't make this play at yep. all whatsoever. Great reach block here by by Mr. Uh, by Mr. Mack. I won't even say it's a reach it's block. It's not a reach block. It's yeah. just him hooking this guy in space, holding him off so his guard can get there. Yep. And he's just waiting. Yeah, he was. He was he was waiting for the guard to get there, and the linebacker never came. He was supposed to be able to press the second level, you know, secure that linebacker, make sure he doesn't. But when the, he sees the linebacker's not coming, he anchors down, you know, mm -hmm. and makes sure he gets his hips turned and really blocks, you know, the guy and prevents him from getting there and creates a lane for his running back to be able to, to succeed. 
And I think that's what's so nice about him is just the veteran knowing, so you know how hard it is to block a man and look for somebody else at the same time. Those are things that you have to train your eyes to do. There's a lot of people that can't do that. And he's able to do it, um, able to recognize what the defense is doing and then able to handle what his role is. Mm -hmm. And now we get one that's pass pro horse. This is the ones that you like. And that, now we got pass pro here. We got pass pro here from Mac. He's gonna stud this gap in space. What do you think, Horst? I mean, it's an impressive play. I know his guy actually ends up making the tackle, but that's because actually he's Matt Ryan slid. Yeah, he actually um, never makes the tackle. I know he ends up looking like he gets pressure on him, but it's not till after Matt Ryan passes Alex Mack. Mm -hmm. There's nothing Mack can do about that. But it, it's a nice play because um, that's a big nose guard there. He plays low. He plays with good leverage. He's quick. He gets his hands on him first. And then anchors himself down. That was a fantastic pass block. Yeah, it really was. And uh, man, I'll tell you what: uh, if Matt Ryan had just a little bit of speed, yeah, a smidge of speed, that wouldn't be a problem. Right, especially if you know that's somebody that's on the 49ers. You know that they can make a big play out of it. But you know, getting his hands on, and you see him get the full extension. He's got the, his hands in the chest plate of the defensive lineman. That's what you're trying to do. And then he anchors down. And you know, that's the thing is the Niners didn't have a center last year that could anchor down mm -hmm. and really stop that. Hieronymus Grasu and Brunskill were struggling, and it's because Brunskill was thinking so much about what his role was playing center. And he didn't know the line calls and everything. This is not a guy that played center. He wasn't even the guy that played interior offensive line. He played offensive tackle. He and he was trying to adjust to playing a new position. He's still adjusting. Right. <laughs> Alex Mack is a legit, like, all-pro player that understands the ins and outs of not only NFL football, but Kyle Shanahan's offense. So the fact that he has the ability to do this, take on a bigger defensive lineman, anchor down, and hold his ground, you saw everyone else is going upfield. He's barely getting moved back. And that is so impressive. That is going to be huge for the 49ers because that has been an area of weakness that they haven't had, especially since Richburg and Ben Garland got injured. Pretty much all last year from about week two, the 49ers struggled at the center position. They will no longer struggle because Alex Mack is a big difference maker. Yeah, it's going to be a huge difference night and day for the O-line. Another one here. Yeah. This, this is one here that's an impressive clip. Um, you'll like to see this one. And why don't you talk a little bit more about this and what you're seeing here and what you like. Yeah, so you have him working down the line. He's really pressing the guy, and then boom, lets the guy overcommit and just takes him where he, you know, where he wants him to go. But it shows a full control of the man that he's able to push him by, you know. And that's the key. You're you're moving this guy. You're getting this guy to go with you. He wants to go with you, but at some point he get he decides, you know what? I'm going to get my hips around, turn him, and then that's when you get the cutback. And the read on what the running back is amazing. Freeman does a great job right here, but that's really what you're looking for. You're pushing him. You're trying to get him into that wash and create a lane for your running back to be able to run. It just happened that the run, you know, happened right behind Alex Mack and you didn't have to push him all the way through, but it was pretty nice. I, I This is actually a very good block and something you see from the other guys on the team. You haven't seen so much from the center, especially last year. You didn't see any of this from the center. They had struggled with this <clears throat> uh, particular block. But Alex Mack does it, um, I mean, basically without even, you know, breaking a sweat. This is nice. Yeah, on a broken freaking leg, too. <laughs> you'll, you'll love to see that. Uh, man, I'll tell you what. This was, when I was doing film breakdown, this was my favorite part of this. Yeah. When I saw that clip and watched that clip, I was kind of like, man. Man, oh, man. That is impressive. Um, and it's, it's the patience he has, right? It's the discipline. He's driving this guy back. He's driving this guy back. He doesn't try and force him to go a direction. He lets him make his choice. Yeah. Am I going to stick this inside and let Devontae Freeman get outside? Or am I going to try and close that gap down here and force him to try and make a cutback? The minute he makes his move, he gets his hips around and he says, all right, you've made your choice. Now you got to live with it. And he's going to trust his running back to make the play. And Devontae Tre Freeman trusts his, his line to make the play. And we've already seen, we've already seen, because you've already seen the use. If you watched our Jews film breakdown. You saw that. You saw the running backs, how much they trust use check. Now you get to trust use check. And you get to trust this guy, Mac, in space. Yeah, I think you do. You trust this guy to be able to put people in the right positions at, as far as pre-snap. And then after that, you see that he can execute on what he needs to get done. Mm -hmm. And part of it is the run game. Part of it is the pass game. But, I mean, really just that intelligence is unmatched. And this block is just shows how impressive he can be in the run game. You can move people off positions. Yes, the zone scheme, you know, allows for this to happen because anywhere in there, as long as there's a hole, Freeman will read it. That's what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. And he sees the cutback present itself and he goes, 
and Mac just kept pushing, sticking with the guy. But you see the guy getting top heavy and unbalanced because Mac has got him right where he needs to be. He's got his hands on. It's great technique. Um, that's what you want to see. Absolutely. And then this last one here, I thought was a very unique play. And horse, you can talk a little bit to this if you'd like. Um, but you can see, you can see here the recognition by Alex Mack pre-snap. Watch the left guard here in space. Yeah. Sort of just, he knows. Left guard knows. This center, this guy who lined up as the nose tackle is going to be funneling to the left, and he has a stunt coming around from the outside in. And Alex Mack literally almost kind of ducks the block and is like, "Hey, buddy." Hey, man. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> You're not going there. He definitely knew the stunt was coming. Yeah, that's just preparation film study. I mean... Yeah, and that's the Alex Mack difference. You yeah, know, those those huge. are things that didn't go... You know, that didn't get recognized last year because of young Daniel Brunskill not understanding the ins and outs of Kyle Shannon's offense. And, you know, basically guys that just aren't as good as Alex Mack playing the position. Mm -hmm. So when you when you get into those situations, Alex Mack will make a difference in getting the, the 49ers in the right situation, the right play, and the right blocking scheme to make the right plays. That's what you need. And that's why he's going to make such a huge difference for the 49ers. Great. All pro level player in the center of the 49ers offense to go already with all pro Trent Williams. Um, I think Lakin Tomlinson and Daniel Brunskill or Aaron Banks are going to you know, benefit so much from Alex Mack and it's even going to help Mike McGlinchey because it'll be nice seeing those guys, you know, there'll be no excuses now with these guys because they will have the guy that they need to put them in the right spots. They'll have the quarterback making sure they're in the right play. And as long as they get it going and this run game successful again, then you're going to see all these guys have bounce back seasons and Alex Mack can be the big reason why. Agreed, man. Agreed there. Yeah. He's amazing. He's fantastic. He is glorious. And you know what else is glorious? You all out there, chat, you 49ers Cutback community, let us know what you think about the Alex Mack difference down below. Is there really a difference? Are we just blowing this out of proportion? And if so, we want to know why. Shoot, link us to some videos as well as to why you think we're wrong. Let's have this discussion. Let's have this conversation because we think this man shows up the O-line and we just gave you the film that proves it. So let us know what you thought about it down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we have videos every Tuesday, like it says right there on the banner next to me right now. You don't want to miss those videos. You don't want to miss live stream Fridays. You don't want to miss any of this great content. So hit that notification bell as well. And uh, yeah, let's have a conversation and join the Cutback community. I would love to have a conversation about the offensive line, especially Alex Mack, um, because I do think that this was a huge signing that got a, a lot of pub early. And then people are kind of just, you know, went, went back to normal. But I want to talk about Alex Mack more and more because this offensive line could be the reason why this team goes to the next level mm -hmm. and why they win the Super Bowl because Alex Mack is that good. Yeah, a lot of people are giving this signing the recognition it deserves. You know, this is if you sign, you know, Derrick Henry at running back or um, Julio Jones at receiver, that's the level of talent Mack is at center. True. It's true. Man, put some respect on his name. Put some respect on the 49ers cut back. And until next time, 49ers fans, you stay safe. And remember the right way. Is always the 49ers way. That's supposed to be a bazooka? Mm -hmm. My God.